Many people have asked me time and time again, do I need a will? And my response, they're thinking I'm going to say yes or no and explain why. But I come back with this in every case. There's two documents that f are far more important than a will. It is a durable power of attorney and a medical directive. Why do I need a durable power of attorney and a medical directive? And when do I need to purchase that is a subsequent question that the client would ask me. My response to that, do you know if you're going to be in a car wreck tomorrow and become incapacitated? And obviously the answer to that is no. So I think that's a document not driven by age nor gender, but it's a document that everyone should have now. For instance, if you become incapacitated through a, an accident in a, in a car wreck some, and you have a durable power of attorney, whoever has that authority and they have been given that authority through that signed notarized document, they can make business decisions for you. For a medical directive, should you need someone to make medical decisions for you, should you become incapacitated or could no longer make those medical decisions, then you have given someone through a notarized document the authority to do that. If you do not make that decision through a legal document such as a durable power of attorney or a medical directive, the judge is going to make that decision for you and I always say your worst decision in selecting someone is better than the judge's best decision.